Hello everyone, this is my Sang V and I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to show how to create a search and select tree prompt. Okay, this is not our search and select prompt which is already available in Cognos Report Studio. This is something else in this. Our requirement is we need to use a search and select tree prompt. Okay, so this is my text box where I'm going to type something. Let's say I want to type back and then I'm going to filter by this tree prompt. Okay, so let me click uh, select uh, click on finish to refresh this tree prompt. And right now in my tree prompt, uh, all the products which contains back in their name is available. Okay. And let's try something else. So let me try trick or I think no, nothing is available like this. Uh, finish. I got something. No, I got lots of stuff. Okay. Firefly. Firefly. Okay. Just because of this three words is available in pen guess firefly that's why it is available so how i created this for this let me first open framework manager and in this framework manager model i have three query subjects which i imported from my database layer and or from my database the first is the product which contains all the product Related information it contains product number, best product number, introduction date, discontinued date, size, color, and type, and brand. And in this second query subject, we have brand details this is brand code and brand in English. The third is product name lookup, it contains product number and product name. Okay, and I created three joints so this is my diagram and i want to open import a layer and in this you are able to see my product table is joined with my product brand and product name lookup finally inside my report layer or presentation layer i have a dimension this is a regular dimension and this is just for i want to use it in the tree structure that's why we created a dimension and this is a regular dimension in this i have two column one is product brand and another another one is product name okay and i created one stand alone filter this one is very important okay and in this we are going to filter our content based on your product name and product brand okay and whatever you are going to provide in your this text box from it is going to be filter on the basis of the same and this is p underscore filter it is a prompt okay and this prompt we created inside our report studio okay and inside report studio so let me click on cancel and inside my report studio i am going to delete everything okay so i want to delete everything with a sec uh, yes first i'm going to add a table so i inserted a table and i want to insert five rows in my first row i am going to add a text box prompt so this is my text box prompt and i'm going to name i want to create a filters with the similar name available in my framework manager model. So this is my product filter and I'm going to use the same name here. So this is my filter. Click on next, uncheck this and finish. The next thing I want to add is a finish button to refresh or prompt button to refresh my report, okay? So this is a finish button and if you want to give some another name just drag and drop here and I'm going to name it refresh. Okay. 
and the last thing not the last thing now I want to add a text item uh, the type is report expression source type is report expression and I'm going to display the selected item in my tree prompt okay fine and the last thing I want to add our tree prompt so this is my tree prompt here and I'm going to name uh, I want to give a parameter for this p underscore tree I want to create a query for this tree that's it finish and I'm going to select this done and okay first I need to modify the query so this is my query inside query I want to add my product brand all and in the detail filter we are going to use product filter okay great so I think everything is done and I want to make this as a optional filter okay so this is the optional filter and on report page uh, I'm going to change this to a optional filter both and I want the tree prompt is a multi select yes okay and finally for the use value I'm going to select I want to select product brand English that's great and I want to edit report expression inside this I want to display the selected values for my tree from that's it click on ok and I think we are ready to run our report so I'm going to click on this icon and our report is executed successfully so this is product brand English all and inside this you have product brand and product name okay so let's select few of them and refresh you selected this three item and now I want to filter my tree prompt so I'm going to provide something in my this text box prompt and I'm going to click on refresh and now my tree prompt is contain only the products which contain firefly okay so this is firefly firefly and so let me click on refresh and now all this items are selected okay once again car refresh and inside firefly i have right now only this so that's it for this video if you like this video if you like this trick don't forget to click on like subscribe share it with your friend and see you all in next cognos report studio tips and tricks video